Hey guys, so today I wanted to take you guys through my La Crusade, La Crusade. Um, I think I said it the same way twice. I'm gonna get it, my French subscribers. I am going to get it. Lo, Lo Crusade. Le Crusade. <laughs> um, uh, I wanted to take you or tell you about my experience at uh, La Crusade's uh, factory to table sale in Pomona. I was on Instagram and in my uh, La Crusade uh, Facebook lovers group, or is it called? One of them. I'm in so many, but in one of them, there were a lot of people who were sharing, you know, what they what they got from uh, the factory to table sale in Charlotte and comparing with those of us who went to the Pomona one. And it was just such a really, really good time. And I decided that now is the time to tell my story, my truth about my experience at La Crusade's Factory to Table Cell and Pomona. And you will know why I'm saying it now. I'm talking about my experience now than when I left the Factory to Table Cell, I think about a month or so ago. Let's start at the beginning. First of all, I didn't even know that there was a Factory to Table Cell in person. I only knew about the one online and I found out about the in-person one from one of the groups that I'm in, the uh, La Crusade Lovers groups that I'm in. I found out that not only was there an in-person factory to table sell, there were also two and they were both very close to me, but I am currently working in Los Angeles at this time. So Pomona was the closest location. And I was a bit concerned because I have an apartment here in LA, but my home, my house, is in Atlanta and that's where I sit all of my La Crusade and that's where I like to keep all of my uh, La Crusade because it's just it's not going to really serve a purpose here because I do cook from time to time in LA but because of the kind of work that I do in the industry that I'm in I'm always going out so I'm not home as much as I would like to be to really just you know cook and enjoy my um, specialty cookware so I was a bit nervous about that because I was just like what if I find something that I really really like and I just have to bring it with me and now I have to figure out how to get it on a plane or ship it and I feel like that's going to be very expensive so I was kind of nervous about that but I had never experienced the factory to table sell in person before and I you know I just had to do it as a La Crusade lover a La Crusade lover I just had to do it because I am such a huge fan I just could not pass this opportunity up and because it was so close not so close but you know it wasn't in an area or a place that I've never been and I basically knew the route and the traffic because I used to work uh, in Pomona so I was very excited about it but again a bit nervous so my sister decided to come with me I didn't ask her she was just like I'll just go with you because it is a bit of a trip and I've never been to Pomona and I want to spend some time with my sister so I was like yes girls road trip so we get on the road and we travel uh, to Pomona because I had a 1 p.m time slot we left in the afternoon bad idea we finally get there we park immediately we're walking you know to our time slot thinking that we're like a bit late because we're a little bit over the time and i'm like oh my goodness i'm nervous what if they won't let me in but i still have an hour to shop so everything's cool so we're rushing to the line and we see that this line is like wrapped around the convention center <laughs> we're like what's happening is there more than one event so we get there and there's i forget his name but he was just such a fun guy he was such a sweetie considering the situation is it scott or kyle or taylor you guys know who i'm talking about if you are in the facebook lovers group or if you are a la Cruze lover like i am then you know who i'm talking about but he was really nice and he was just like oh you have to get in another line and we're like oh no this is our time slot like this is the time for us to go in now and he's like oh no <laughs> We're having issues with uh, the internet in the convention center, um, the Pomona Convention Center. So we're a little behind. When he said little, what he actually meant to say was that we're three hours behind. So we get in another line because the 10 a.m. just walked in, right? We're one, we're one p.m. The 10 a.m just walked in they were making um i think it was the 12 p.m or 11 30 something like that it was like 10 a.m 12 p.m and 1 p.m i believe they were the long line that we saw we the 1 p.m were the ones that were wrapping around mind you this is pomona so it was hella hot so we're not really phased by that because we're excited you know what i mean i'm a huge fan my sister is you know just vibing because she's with me and we're having a good time we get in line we make some friends and then it just starts to get hot 
because the heat is beaming down on us now. Just hanging out in the heat is fine. But when you're standing there, direct sunlight in Pomona for like an hour, you start to get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> start to get a little uncomfortable. So now the line that was wrapped around the convention center is like breaking off into little sections wherever there's shade. So we're like under a tree. Every <laughs> it's like this group of women who do not know each other are huddling close to each other next to um, under a tree just so we can get a bit of shade because all of our skin is like burning off. I'm exaggerating, but it was hot. So finally, 12 p.m. starts walking in. So we're like, yeah, <laughs> we're about to go get in there. But mind you, we've been in line for over an hour at this point. So finally, we get up to the front. And before we go in, we get the whole briefing. We get the briefing that, you know, the internet is down. Everybody was really, all the workers were very apologetic. So there wasn't much of an attitude that anybody could really have because they're just like, it's not our fault. This is the, you know, the location. Something is wrong with the internet. We're really sorry. They're coming around, taking pictures, giving us candy, telling us they're sorry. Really not allowing the crowd to get frustrated, which as somebody who has worked in customer service for over a decade was a very smart thing to do because the last thing you want to do is leave a crowd of women who are hot, thirsty, and hungry, leave them to their own vices. You know what I mean? To let us start talking and comparing notes and it'll just get out of hand. So it was really smart for them to come around, reassure us, make sure that everybody is comfortable, bringing out waters, just very, very attentive. And I thought that that was very, very smart because it was just an uncomfortable situation. I gotta be honest with you. It was just an uncomfortable situation. So we get to the door and I'm telling you, we could all feel the breeze. The whole line could feel the breeze. So what's starting to happen now is that the people who are in the front take in the air, like the cool air that's blowing in the convention center, take it in, then move to the side so other people behind us could take it in. And then they move and then you move back over here so they can take it in. We were just like working together just to make sure nobody passes out. So when we finally get in, we are told that it's best not to look around and shop. Here is why. With the internet being down, the cash registers are down. So it's taking a very long time to check out. So we were told to get a cart, get in line, and the line will wrap around the convention center and around the La Crusade tables. So you won't actually miss anything because you'll be waiting in line so you can shop that way. In theory, it was very smart. After I left, I realized I missed a lot of stuff because although I'm in line and I'm, you know, scooching up ever so often, I can see certain things on the table. If I'm not over there, I can't see it. So you're on one side, right? And you can see some things, but you actually have to get out of the line and walk around and look at stuff and, you know, examine things. We just weren't able to do that. It was so congested in there. There was no space to do it. The place was packed and the line was just tight. So there really was, wasn't much looking that I could do. However, my sister was just like, you know what? This is your event. This is your thing. You brought me here. I'll wait in line. I'll get out. I'll, I'll watch the car and I'll move up. You can go around and start looking at different tables. So I was able to do that. But then there are people who are blocking it. And everybody, I will say this, everybody was very, very great, right? Like if I wanted to see something, I said, excuse me, somebody would move and, you know, or somebody would help me and ask me what I'm looking for. So it was, I'm telling you guys, it could have been a much terrible experience because it was already uncomfortable, but everybody was just in a really good space. So there wasn't any kind of drama or conflict. But again, because of how everything was set up, you just couldn't see everything because there were things that I wanted to get that I ended up missing because the line was just blocking it. And you can say, excuse me, but it's still just, you're just going to miss it if people are not in the way of the tables. So that's what it was. Like you're waiting in line with your cart, but everybody is in front of the table and you cannot really get to that table until you get to that part of the line. But then if you want to look, you got to move people and carts out of the way and it's already a tight situation. So it just was not possible to see everything. But I was able to get some things. So it wasn't a total bus. There was also a free bar there. So they were giving out free drinks. I don't know if they did it for the other days, but I know that they gave out free drinks to people, free non-alcoholic drinks, which was smart. 
I would not have given out free liquor to this event, at least with the issues going on, because the last thing you want is alcohol to match somebody's annoyance. So it was very smart that they were giving out free cold drinks and not alcoholic drinks, but that did help. They played great music. Again, the employees there were really great. Everybody was apologetic. Everybody was coming around and checking in on people. We also made friends in the line because it was just so long. We ended up waiting in line or the entire experience, what was supposed to be one hour turned into about five hours. I will say in the moment, I was just like, oh, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> not doing this again. Cause I was frustrated. I was hungry. I was hot. My feet were throbbing. I just was not in the best place which is why one of the reasons why I wanted to wait to do this because I just wanted to be in a better place. Also, I got two mystery boxes. My sister and I, we both got a mystery box and I had a damaged item in my mystery box and I didn't know how that was going to go. So I wanted to hear back from La Crusade so I could talk about it in this video. So my sister and I both got mystery boxes. Now this is the process when you go in when there isn't any issues, right? You pay for your time slot. I did the VIP. Girl, I did the VIP. So that was Friday. The event was for the Pomona people, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it was VIP on Friday. Then it was like another like kind of VIP, but like a class down. And then it was just the regular shopping day on Sunday. VIP and the Saturday VIP basically, were the days that you were able to get a mystery box. I had no idea what a mystery box was, but I found out when I got in line. So when you get in line, if you're a VIP, they give you a ticket. And this ticket is for your mystery box. Do not lose it. Guard it with your life. So we got a ticket to purchase our mystery box at the end. So after we collected our things that we wanted to buy, then we went and got in line, gave them the ticket and paid $49.99, basically $50 for our mystery box. And the mystery box is huge. I'll take a picture actually and show you in the video because they're far too big for me to hold up in this video, but I'll take a picture and I'll show you. Huge and heavy. So we were excited because we were like, oh, we got some goodies on top of the things that we already bought. So like I said, when you get in line, you pay for your items, you give them the ticket to get your mystery box. You do not get your mystery box right there. After you pay for your items and give your, give your ticket and pay for your mystery box, then they move you to another line. That is where you pick up your mystery box. You can't choose a mystery box. They already have a worker there who was holding a box ready to give you. So we get to the line, the worker gives us his box and he's like struggling with it. And then the other guy, the other worker, he's like, oh, that's a good one. If it's heavy, that means it's a good one. I don't know if that's true, but he gave it uh, to me, put it in my cart. And then my sister, they did the same thing. They gave her a mystery box. You cannot pick the mystery box that you want. That mystery box is picked for you. Then when you go out, they have workers there who will hold your car while you go and get your car and then come around and get in line. Then you're able to drive around and get in the line and wait for them to come and load your items in the car for you. Now let's just talk about, let's take out the waiting and you know, the frustration uh, with that. And let's just talk about the factory to table sell on its own. My opinion on the factory to table sell is this. If you are a collector, if you are somebody who is, you know, obsessed like I am with uh, La Crusade, then I think it's a really good event for you to go to. If you are a reseller, I think it's a really good event for you to go to. If you are someone who has someone in your life who is, you know, a La Crusade lover and obsessed as well, absolutely recommend coming to this event because you will be able to purchase the basics like La Crusade Cerise collection, the La Crusade Flame collection, or the La Crusade of France, France uh, collection. You'll be able to get that there. And that's normally what people gravitate to when you first start buying La Crusade. You gravitate to Cerise, you gravitate to Flame, you gravitate to the France collection because that's always in stock right? They always tend to bring those colors back or keep those in stock um, on the site. So that is who I think this event is for. I shopped their uh, factory to table sale online and I will be honest with you, I saw much better items that I was interested in 
at the online factory to table sale. I think the Pomona, and I'm just going to say for Pomona because I also looked at, you know, what people were picking up in Charlotte and I was looking at a lot of, you know, people's videos and pictures that they uh, were sharing about their experience at the one in Charlotte. And baby, Charlotte, to me, I feel like outdid my uh, Pomona experience. I was seeing things in Charlotte that I wish I would have saw in uh, Pomona and I just think that maybe... Uh, the buyer or the one who selects items to go to whatever uh, sell just probably had a much better eye for the South. Maybe La Crusade is a bit more popular there. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. But I just really was seeing a lot of my unicorns at the uh, factory to table sale in um, Charlotte. I didn't see a lot of things at the factory to table sale in Pomona that I didn't see on the site, that I didn't see in, in the outlets. It looked like an outlet to me. It did not, I, I did not see anything that was just like, oh, this was necessary. Like I need to buy a ticket and come do this again. If like I said, you're not obsessed with La Crusade like me. You're not a reseller. You're not somebody who is shopping for somebody who is obsessed, right? If that is not you, then I don't think that this is for you. I didn't see anything that you really can't get online. The, the quality, you know, of what was available online, in my opinion, was a lot better. And I was VIP. Now, granted, my time slot was 1 p.m. And maybe everybody just took up the goodies. Maybe that could have happened. But we were all talking in the line and in the Facebook group. And we pretty much all came to the same consensus that this was not anything different from the outlets. That was just what I saw. I did um, like the opportunity to see some things in person that I only see on the website. Like I am absolutely obsessed with Flame. That is like my main collection. I'm gonna get every piece that I can in Flame. But that Cayenne, that Cayenne was calling me. That Cayenne was calling me. So I don't know if that's my next color, but I did like the fact that I could see some things in person that I didn't see before. I also like that they had really great discounts and deals on um, a lot of items that you can buy at the outlet, but are a bit more pricier. So I did like that as well. So those are basically my pros and cons. Only cons for me were two. One, the whole issues that we had. The internet issues really kind of soured the experience for the VIP people. And the fact that I just did not see a lot of different things there. Now, Charlotte, Charlotte has some things. I would have gone broke in Charlotte, but I really just didn't buy a lot um, at uh, the factory to table sell because I'm just like, I can go to the outlet in Atlanta and get the things that um, I need. So that was my experience. Now let's get into what I got in the mystery boxes. Let me just say this. When I got home and my sister and I, we opened up our mystery boxes, we were so tired. We were so exhausted. Our feet were screaming. Baby, when we opened up those mystery boxes, everything went away. <laughs> everything went away we were like oh my god oh my god what like everything went away the mystery boxes was such a smart thing for la crusade to do because baby we were like oh this was a lot we don't know if we'll do this again and by the time we got to the end of our second mystery box we were like oh we'll be there next year Everything went away. Well, let me first show you what we got that was not in the mystery box. For some reason, my sister was adamant about getting this uh, silicone spatula. Like she just did not want to leave without it. And she is not like, or she was not La Crusade obsessed, La Crusade obsessed like I am. But baby, I'm telling you, even though the lines were long, she was gagging at everything. She was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So she is now obsessed just like I am, I was able to convert her. Even though it wasn't the best experience, she still fell in love, which lets you know how great La Crusade really is. This because she's obsessed with France. Like if she could live there right now, she would, she would. Uh, so this is her mug. It's really, really cute. And red's her favorite color. She also got this. This cute plate. She got the plate to compliment the mug, 
Like that's how she wants to use it. And put her little Madeleines like right here on the plate. Oh, I will say everything was deeply discounted. The spatula was $5. Uh, the mug, normally they were like 20. She was able to get them for 10. The next thing that I got was this. This is a La Creuset Star Ceramic uh, Plates. La Creuset, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. This is normally 70 bucks. It's 70 bucks at the outlet. I think it's also 70 bucks online. But I got this off of the 50% off table. So I ended up paying with taxes like 20, $25 for this. But unfortunately, because we were not able to really look, so I was able to pass by it but I couldn't like dig into it like I needed to and like lift it up and see if this was the right color because I thought I picked up the color that I wanted. I wanted red, but I picked it up, got home, opened it, and it was white. <laughs> I'm still gonna get the red for Christmas, but we're gonna use white for the new year. I don't mind it. I love stars, but I wanted the red. So I'm gonna go to the outlet in Atlanta and get the star plate set in red. This is what I wanted though. This is what I want. You know, I might. No, I'm going to keep it. Because I was going to see if I could maybe exchange it at the outlet. Well, I could say what I absolutely probably let me do that. But I think I'm just going to keep this. Keep it in white for the new year. My sister then picked these up. These were like $2. These are pinch bowls. Um, she said, this is for me, so I can use these. I have pinch bowls, but I like them in glass. But she wanted me to have these. So this was her gift to me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> This is also my sister's purchase. She wanted to, <laughs> my sister got like everything. I'm telling you guys, I was too tired. My feet were in like just all kinds of pain. I was not thinking clearly and I did not see the unicorns that um, I went there for. So I didn't get a lot of stuff, but this is what my sister got. She got this, um, this silicone, um, I forgot what it's called, but you know what it is. It's hot stuff on here. She got that. Another purchase that she got for me. <laughs> One oven mitt. You can tell that she doesn't cook. <laughs> but she's like, oh, this will be really cute for you for Christmas. And I'm like, thank you. I'll go to the outlet and get the other mitt. <laughs> this right here, I was so excited about this. This is the cast iron uh, way to cook cookbook. This was a uh, 30, no, this was 60% off. Right? Yeah, this was 60% off. So I paid uh, with taxes. I paid, this was like $15. I could be wrong, because I'm like 60% off of 30. Yeah, so with taxes, this was like 15 bucks. But this is um, the La Creuset Cast Iron Cookbook, and I've wanted this for so long. Actually still in my uh, wish list. So because I have this there, I gotta update my wish list on um, the website, on the La Creuset website. But this is the Cast Iron Cookbook. Cast iron way to cook. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Look at flame. Look at flame. Yeah. My flame nails. Ooh, tarragon roasted chicken. I know that's right, baby. I know that's right. I cannot wait to get into this. But yeah, this I was really excited about this purchase. I also got this. Now, I could have absolutely got this at the outlet, but I just wanted to get something. <laughs> Since I didn't see my unicorns and everything, the cayenne that I wanted was just too big. The cayenne pot that I wanted was too big. And also, until I complete Flame, I just did not want to start on another collection right now. So I got this because I was just like, my sister is going to leave with more stuff than me and I brought her here. <laughs> But this is actually something that I needed. I have this, this heart tray, but it's in like the mini um, heart, the mini hearts. I got the mini one. I wanted this one for Valentine's Day because I wanted to make a bunch of treats and I just felt like this would, you know, this would just take it, take it over. Cause I had this recipe idea in my head and I needed this, I needed this. But when I saw it, I was at the outlet, the La Crusade outlet in Camarillo. Yes, Camarillo. And for some reason, I just didn't get it. I just did not get it. But when I saw it here, especially when it was like 20, 25% off, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm going to get it. I didn't need it, but for 25% off, absolutely going to get it. So that is all we got. However, we were given, gifted two t-shirts 
and we were uh, gifted this uh, factory to table sale, uh, like multiple uh, coupons for um, the outlets. So it says you can say 15% on an, on a regularly priced item. You can use this at any of the outlets. I think they expired, right? No, I can still use this one. Yeah. So they gave us some coupons for the outlets, which has me thinking, I feel like we're just getting stuff from the outlets. That's what I'm starting to think. I think that the factory to table sales are just all the outlets coming together. That's what I think. Let me know if you have another theory, but from my experience, I'm thinking that we're just getting random outlets coming together to do like a mega outlet on the road. Now, let's get into the first mystery box of the night. Girl, we got a lot. Now, both of our mystery boxes were good and heavy. We had no idea what was in them. Everybody was just like, oh, the mystery boxes could be a bunch of pots. It could be a bunch of books. It could be whatever they decided to put into this box and that is the you know the mystery of the mystery box so a mystery box is basically items that la crusade used in their stores as a display item items and cookware that they have used in their photo shoots or test kitchens or items that have not made the cut because of a quality issue and it's normally a scratch or a chip now before you even purchase a mystery box they let you know they let you know what the mystery box is and what you'll be getting. Nine times out of 10, you will not be getting something that's new. You will be getting something that's gently loved. You're not pulling something new out of the box. Now, if you are, God bless you, you got a unicorn, but that is not what a mystery box is. I was okay with that because baby, when I opened my box. So this is actually my sister's mystery box. My sister, let me just preface this, my sister, loves tea my sister loves the color red this was the first thing that she saw <laughs> these two la crusade teapots and these are um tea bag holders now here we have the sticker on the back i don't know if it's brand new or if it was something that was you know on display or something that was taken out of the stock, but the stickers are on all of the items. So I'm thinking these are probably display items or photo shoot items. I also got a lot of knobs. They gave me two silver knobs. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these because I don't like silver, I like gold. I like gold or copper knobs, so I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> we'll see what I do with those because I might you know, use them for another collection or maybe switch it up, but I don't see myself using them right away. Now my other sister loves the color blue. We share an apartment here in LA and this is what we got next in the uh, mystery box. I got what, one, two, three, four of these beautiful, I don't know what color this is, Caribbean. Caribbean dinner plates. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Great quality, nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong, no chips. Some have stickers, some do not. Gorgeous plates. Gorgeous plates. Next up, this. This beautiful grill pan. Stickers all on it. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try to show you. This has chips all along the side. And that is what, not expected, but that is what you go into purchasing a mystery box knowing that there will be some imperfections. Not sure if it'll show up on my camera, but there's some chips going on. Then we got another pot. This is my first La Crusade frying pan. Just beautiful. No chips on this one. No issues. Now it's a little, sorry, it's a little wet inside because I uh, just cleaned it because I was cooking with it. I love this frying pan. I love this frying. I use it for everything. Such good quality. My little sister, who is not in the cookware, not obsessed with La Crusade, she does not care. She loves this. 
she loves this i might convert her too i might bring her over guys <laughs> but she loves this she loves cooking in this this is such good quality this had a sticker as well i took it off to cook with it let's continue on with my sister's mystery box she also got this this right here this la crusade jar People use it for a lot of things. I think because again, this is basically going to be for me because she doesn't cook. I think I might use this as my own little salt jar. That's what I might use it for. She doesn't have any use for it. She was just like, you can use it for something. I was like, okay, I'll make it my salt jar. And then she got this cute uh, jar. It's not, what is it? Is it a, it's not a milk jug. Breakfast jug and Marcel. Marcel. Hope I'm saying that right. Y'all know my pronunciation is all over the place. I'm a black woman from Philadelphia. Yep, we have our own way of saying things. I'll get it right eventually. But yeah, she got this. And again, I told you, my little sister loves blue. So she was excited about this as well. So this was a nice little mystery box. We got a lot of cute things. The collection colors were a little bit, um, you know, all over the place. But these are good quality items that go with the color palette that we can all agree on. So this wasn't a bust at all. Really good uh, mystery box, especially for someone who is not a collector, right? Who is not within this uh, specific community. My sister and my little sister were just like, oh, these are good. We can use this for the home because this is the colors that they like. And this is also, and this is also really good cookware and very practical. Now let's get into my mystery box. <laughs> bunch of mugs as well mugs that I'm absolutely going to give to my sister who loves the color red so I got four of these red mugs and my sister was like oh those are for me I'm like yes you can have them really good nice quality it's like her you know not quite like her France one but it's the same color they're all cerise so she's going to keep them for her collection nice then I got this cute single mini cocote which is not bad, right? I think this is in the artichoke, artichoke. I think I'm saying that right. This is in the artichoke color and that was not a problem for me because I wanted to get four of these for Christmas. I was just laughing at the fact that they gave me one. <laughs> Thank you for the single artichoke cocoa, petite cocoa. It's cute, but I, you know, I wanted the whole collection, but that's fine. I'm just gonna purchase three off of uh, the website. But it's cute. This is exactly what I wanted for Christmas. I just wanted to make cute little treats. Cute little holiday treats in here. This is what she looks like inside. Really cute. Again, everything has the tag on them. The uh, barcode. And then I got two uh, blue or Caribbean mugs. These are actually going to stay at my LA uh, apartment just because I feel like this fits my apartment palette a little better, my apartment color palette a little bit better um, than um, my Atlanta location. My Atlanta location is more of like greens and reds and oranges, more earth tones. LA is more white and blue, like more, you know, beach house themey here. Um, so I'm going to keep these here. And anyway, my little sister loves the color blue. So she was gagging over these. Cute. Now I feel like now I have to get the Caribbean collection for my LA home. I think that has to happen because that's where we're going. La Crusade said you are going to have to buy the entire Caribbean collection because this is what we have planned out for you. So we gave you a starter. Now you got to finish. Thank you, La Crusade. Now, baby, let's get into the pots. So my box was uber heavy, like mad heavy. And uh, when I opened it, I realized why. <laughs> I got this cute saucepan. Oh, let me show you the lid. Now why this was such, oh, these things are heavy. Now why this was such a great treat for me is because my holiday collection, my uh, holiday, you know, color palette for this Christmas is the Cerise La Crusade cookware collection. Well, not Cerise, but the Noel collection. And you know, the Noel collection is basically the Cerise color was just, you know, the um, La Crusade holiday or Noel engraving. So that is what my collection, my cookware collection is for this holiday season. And I was actually going to purchase this. 
I was going to purchase this. This was on my wish list to purchase next month, but I don't need to now. I will say there are a few scrapes. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you. I'll put some pictures up. But there are a few scrapes on uh, the pot. Again, that's what you get when you get a mystery box. I don't mind. I'm going to I have a gold knob back home in Atlanta. So I'm going to change out the knob and it will go with my collection beautifully. I think I have one more, two more pots that I'm going to get and I'm done. I'm done. I can't wait. I can't wait. So La Crusade saved me about $200. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and that pot had stickers on it as well. I took it off to cook with it. I've been cooking with a few of my things. Um, and I've been cooking with that. Love it. Makes the best sauces. The best sauces. Girl, next up is this. She's a heavy one, so I'm going to pick her up in pieces at times to talk about her. But it's this brazier. This is, I think it's five quarts. Oh, she's heavy. Oh, she's heavy. Um, I don't know what the color is. I don't know if it's berry. I think it's berry because of the bottom. But, oh, she's a beast. And this thing... Whew, this thing cooks crazy. I love her. Love her. I cook so much in here. So many things. You can actually, if you, you know, let me plug my TikTok. Um, you can actually go see some of the items that I made there in this on my, um, and all of my La Crusade cookware that I got from the factory to table sale and um, on my TikTok. So this right here, I think it's five quart because the inside it says 30. I'm still learning, still learning. But yeah, this bad boy is a beast there's a few chips on the inside but this one was in pretty good shape pretty good shape again i took the sticker off so i can cook with it but these all came with stickers there's a small chip right here yeah but very small very very small but i am so obsessed with this this has convinced me this pot right here has convinced me to start investing in brazers for our la crusade like i love cooking in this pot oh i love it she's heavy though so i gotta put it down she's heavy the last certainly not the least reason why my uh mystery box was so heavy dun, da, da, da. miss provence miss provence herself Oh, she's another beast. And I love cooking in this. Love cooking in this. I have made some great dishes in this baby. Again, I'll put pictures, close-ups of everything in this video. You might see some, oh, that is, if you see some little droppings in there, some uh, yellowy kind of droppings, that is olive oil. Here is why. There are chips around the side of this, like right on the edge. And I have to do that to stop it from rusting. Yeah, that is the mystery box life. So let's get into that a bit. I did not know about the rusting until I started to cook with uh, these pots. I did not know about that. And thank God for my La Crusade, uh, La, La Crusade um, Facebook lovers group. They were really able to help me give me tips on how to make sure the rusting does not become an issue or ruin uh, the pots because I only have brand new La Crusade. I've never had like gently loved uh, La Crusade. Again, everything has stickers on it. So it is my belief that my stuff that I received in my mystery box from uh, La Crusade at the Pomona factory to table sale was stuff that was used on display or in photo shoots. It was very obvious and apparent to me that it, they had not been used to cook because all of the stickers were on. There were no marks or no cooking marks or anything like that, no um, food stains. So it was my understanding that these were probably used for photo shoots. These items will have some imperfections and you're going to need to care for them differently. So now that you have seen the spoils of my first Le Creuset factory to table sale, first of many, here are my final thoughts concerning the actual factory to table sale event. Will I go back? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Will I go back to, you know, one in Pomona? No, here is why. Like I said before, I have a home in Atlanta where I keep up the majority of my cookware. So I want to, uh, I will hope, hopefully they do Atlanta or maybe Charlotte again. I would hope that they would do another factory to table sale somewhere in the South that is easily accessible to me. So I can just drive there, load my car and bring everything back. I also really like the quality of all the factory to table sales that I have seen that have been in the South in Atlanta and Charlotte. I really like the quality there. So I am absolutely looking forward to going to the next factory to table sale, um, the La Crusade uh, factory to table sale in the South. I am absolutely bringing uh, my sister because she is now obsessed and I'm going to bring uh, my mom and my other sister as well. Here is why. I'm leaving with some mystery boxes. I'm getting everybody a ticket and we're basically going there for a mystery box and a few unicorns. If I see them, great. If not, I'm fine with it because I got my mystery boxes. That's going to be my main mission from here on out. Because although these items that I got were not items that I was looking for in a specific collection, I was able to be introduced to new cookware that I was not even focused on that now I'm like obsessed with. I'm not going to um, start a new collection with the Provence or Berry. I'm actually going to use these pots as my Easter cookware collection. So I think I might get a pot in either Caribbean or maybe sea salt. And that will close out the um, Easter collection because my other cookware and tableware and decor is pastel. And I feel like that will fit perfectly with my Easter theme. So no, I will not be starting new collections with the items that I received in my mystery box, but they will all be put to use. Everything will have its own holiday to shine. I'm absolutely going to go to the factory to table sell again. Um, absolutely will do uh, the ones in the South. Hopefully they do Atlanta because the mystery boxes were great. I can't even hold you. Those mystery boxes made everything so much better. When I posted my pictures on my La Crusade group, people were like, oh my goodness, you got Provence? Oh my goodness, you got this, the Berry Brazer? Like people were going crazy. They weren't my unicorns, but I sure did feel the love. I sure did feel the love. Now, if I didn't have a theme for uh, the cookware that I got in my mystery box, I probably would have sold uh, some things or maybe traded some things. Here is why my collection is flame. I'm not trying to build new collections, but again, the Easter idea came to mind and I was like, this will go great with that. But I have no problem selling or trading if something doesn't suit me. But fortunately, everything had a place or a home. Like my sisters like some things, I like some things, so everything works. But if something didn't, absolutely would um, have no problem selling or uh, trading. I also will be going back to a La Crusade factory to table sell wherever it may be because I thought the customer service was great. I loved how everybody was so attentive, even though it was a very difficult situation. And again, as somebody who has worked in customer service, I thought they handled this, this fiasco perfectly. I think they did a stellar job. Also, I love the response that La Crusade gave me when I told them about some scratches on some items that I had. They sent me out a replacement. When I get back home, I'll see what that replacement is. That is the thing. If you have a damaged item in your mystery box, all you have to do is send them pictures of the item and they will send you back a replacement. They will not give you the same item because it's a mystery box. So the replacement that you're receiving is a mystery. I don't know what I'm getting. So that is something to expect. If you have a damaged item and they do send you a replacement, it will not be the exact replacement of the item that was damaged in the uh, mystery box. So that's something to think about if you do send a replacement. I don't know what my replacement is. When I get home for the holidays, I will see what it is and I will let you guys know. And the final reason why I will be going back is because I actually did make some really great friends. It was a fun event despite the pain of standing for uh, four hours. It was a good time. It was an honest mistake. There was nothing that they could do about it. They reassured us this would never happen again because they weren't going back to that location. That is a little tea for you guys. They will not be going back to the Pomona Convention Center. I don't know if they won't be going back to Pomona, but they reassured us that they will not be using that location again because of the internet issues that they had. So they may come back to LA, but I don't know if it'll be in Pomona. So that's it. The kindness and grace of the workers, the quality of the mystery boxes, the friends that I made, and La Crusade's great response is the reason why I will absolutely go to the next factory to table sell. They were all very apologetic. They sent me out a replacement item 
right away. How could I not want to continue to invest in a company that cares about their customers so much? So I'll see you at the next one. Thank you all for uh, taking time out of your day to watch this video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, or share. Let me know if you've been to the factory to table sale, any, anyone, wherever it may be. Let me know if you've ever attended one and what was your experience. Love you guys. Thank you again for stopping by. I'll see you soon for something else. Bye. Mwah.